Lamelo, you got to give me the ball a lot quicker. I still knock it down. They just were not there. I'm going to do the post fade. That could be good, and it is. Cedric Lewis cannot be stopped. All right, I'm going to sub that for the first time of this game. Up by 16. Let's see what our bench unit can do. And the he have a two-point lead. Oh, my God. What a devastating three from Tyler Hero. He's got 24. The Heat have extended the lead to 13. Cedric looking to change that. Wow. If that doesn't answer what this game has been, I don't know what will. Kyle Lowry extends the Heat lead to 16. And we all know the celebration. Now the celebration works. Bro, this don't work in my career. Oh, my goodness, bro. That's crazy. And stay tuned to the end of this video to see who wins the NBA Finals. The Hornets are not done yet. We avoid the sweep. We extend this series to at least five games. As you know, no team has ever came back three games to zero. Some teams, most recently the Toronto Raptors of last year, have pushed a series to six after trailing 0-3. I'm not sure if anyone's ever um, pushed it to seven trailing 0-3. We could be the first. Got to take it one game at a time. We just won on our home court. We're going back to Miami, though, where the Heat won their first two games. We split the two games at our home, down 3-1 now. So let's look at it like that. We're down 3-1, not 3-0. But teams, a lot of teams now, I think 13, have come back down 3-1. We're looking to be number 14 here and as you know Cedric Lewis put up a 57 point triple double along with seven steals missing only seven shots all game we got huge contributions from Jeremy Grant and LaMelo Ball Aiton took a step back sadly but it wasn't I mean it didn't really matter as we blew out the heat Adebayo had 30 Butler only had 23 Hero was held to 19 and they had no one else really helping them at all now here are the stats in 72k we did get the win i'll make sure because i believe game two and maybe game one i can't remember i accidentally tricked off a win when we didn't uh so 72k is going to be a little bit messed up so when we eventually get eliminated i'll make sure uh to have the game with all zero stats uh but game five we are heading to now putting up 56 57 clearly averaging around like 47 points a game probably almost averaging 50 in these nba finals let's i shot 73 percent from the field in a 50 that's insane anyways let's see if we can extend this series to six games take it back to charlotte and just try and hold off the miami Heat for as long as possible here we go back in the heat's house game five of the eastern conference finals hornets looking to get a must needed pivotal game five win after that blowout victory in charlotte and the heat Looking to end this series quick so they can head off to their second NBA Finals in five years. There we go. Tip off at a, at a bio and Aiton, I was going to say. They both start with an A, man. I mean, Aiton wins a tip off. And little ball. We need another big game from you. You had a great game last showing. Same thing with Jeremy Grant. I'm not expecting the same performance from Jeremy Grant. But I am expecting... Oh, I did not expect... Caleb, oh, Aiton with the rebound. I get another shot, and it's good. Cedric Lewis ain't missing two in a row. I was expecting uh, Martin. He showed like he was going to defend my shot there, but he fell back, so I just didn't know what to do, and I ended up missing uh, Kyle Lowry. Let's see if I can have enough. I had seven steals. I nearly had a quadruple double. That had, oh, Kyle Lowry's starting off hot. That had, had to be the greatest playoff performance of all time. Like, without a doubt, I don't think it's even debatable. Unless Luca in the these uh, series had a crazy um, game, and Grant, you gotta get away from me when I'm doing that post speed. Offensively, I might have found the method. I don't know if it's only because this series is going up against an undersized power forward, but to get Jeremy Grant going offensively, it's the pick and roll. He's got 10 of our 18 points. Him and I have all the points for this team. Jeremy Grant in these past three games has been absolutely outstanding. We might have found the method to get this man going offensively. Aiton's still not doing good defensively, though. That That's a struggle here. So maybe maybe Jeremy Grant stays along. Uh, maybe he survives this offseason. Maybe he won't survive the trade deadline. But this offseason, 
there is definitely a chance. Because if he's going to be playing like this, if we found the method as... Oh, I got the ball back. I got it back. I got it back. Go, Jeremy. Cut to the basket. Uh, okay. Yo, kick it out. Terry Rozier from downtown. Wow, he bricked it. But Aiton gets the offensive board. You already know it's a bucket. Uh, Lamelo, you got to give me the ball a lot quicker. I still knock it down. They just were not there. But you cannot be doing all these dribble moves double contested and just leave me sitting there. It wasn't clicking the first three games when we went down 3-0. Aiton, amazing defense, but Oladipo just gets it over him. Oladipo has been a struggle in these playoffs. I'm going to do the post fade. That could be good, and it is. Cedric Lewis cannot be stopped. Eight seconds left. He looking to take the last shot of the quarter. Oladipo looking for one. He gets Chris Duarte. It's off. I'm not even going to attempt a shot here. 35 to 21. Another dominating first quarter. Not quite the 45 points we had in game four. But 35 point first quarter. 19 for Cedric Lewis. That's plenty. And he doesn't give it back to me, I guess. All right, Jeremy Grant can set the screen for me, even though I got Tower Hero on me. And, ooh, Jeremy Grant, that was a tough shot. He hit it. All right, I'm going to sub out for the first time of this game. Up by 16. Let's see what our bench unit can do. And the he have a two-point lead. Yikes, bro. Yikes. That is not what we want to see. Up by 16. And you all just blow like that. Now we're going to be tied again and possibly take the lead with the and one. But the Heat answered right back. So when I'm the one holding the ball, it's going very well. And we will have a lead here going into halftime once again. Oh, I, oh boy, I messed that possession up. It's all good, though. We're going to have a one-point lead going into halftime. Although, we were up 16. The metal ball, you had a clear lane to the basket there, and you didn't take it. And they, yep, they, they guarded it correctly that time. Right, you had a clear lane to the basket, and you did not take it. Jeremy Grant gets partially blocked, it looked like. What is going on with this Hornets offense? They are stagnant right now. They cannot get anything going. Anyone not named Cedric Lewis is not scoring on this offense right now. It is absolutely insane. Grant playing fantastic defense. I'm bam out of bio though. Oh, I nearly got that steal and Lowry's gonna get an open three. It's off. Oh my god. What a devastating three from Tyler Hero. He's got 24. Cedric Lewis flirting with another triple double. And he's gonna get his 11th assist as Grant finally ends the drought for the Hornets. Oh my god, Lamel just missed both free throws. Both! What? Oh my goodness, dude. This dude has been absolutely terrible in this series. And look at the lineup on the court for the Heat. If we can't take this lead back, there, there's no hope for us in this game. There is no hope. This is such a piss poor lineup in here for the Miami Heat. And this is their bench. I did not want to give that to Aiton. I wanted to give it to LaMelo. LaMelo Ball. I do not trust you with the basketball. All right. Uh, DeAndre Aiton. Oh my God. And one heat. Oh boy, bro, we are in our we are in a pickle here. The Heat have extended the lead to 13. Cedric looking to change. That. Wow. If that doesn't answer what this game has been, I don't know what will. Kyle Lowry extends the Heat lead to 16. We have ourselves in a 19-point hole here in a do or die elimination game what a dunk from Cedric exclamation point from Cedric Lewis Jimmy Butler from downtown he misses Hornets down 17 heading into the fourth after leading by as much as 16 it's going to take a whole lot from Lewis and the Hornets to try and stay alive and Lewis getting subbed out to start this fourth. Probably not the smartest thing in the world. But he does need some rest. I sat for nine seconds. This is like Jimmy Butler in the finals. Jimmy Butler from downtown. No! Why did you have to miss that back? At least let me get a triple-double. At least let me get a triple-double, bro. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Oh, I got a triple-double. I didn't even know I grabbed it. 
All right, well, I mean, there's one positive that came out of the series. Uh, I think I had two or three triple doubles back to back uh, in games. He didn't even hit that in games uh, four and five. But yeah, we. I mean, if Grant hits both of these, we will only be down by 13. I didn't even notice that. He does. A few threes and three minutes. We're kind of back in this game a little bit if we can play defense. What a disappointing end to an immaculate season and playoff run by the Charlotte Hornets. It comes off to a, a sad, sad ending. Gave life there. Avoided the sweep. Avoided the sweep, which is awesome, but will end up coming up short. I am going to get 40 here, which is really what I wanted. Cedric Lewis scores over 40 points and I believe all five games in the Eastern Conference Finals. They are going to fall short and lose in five games to the one-seeded Miami Heat. And stay tuned to the end of this video to see who wins the NBA Finals. Be sure to stay tuned as the Miami Heat are heading to the Finals for the second time in five years, second time in the Jimmy Butler era. And we all know the celebration. Now the celebration works! Bro, this don't work in my career. Oh my goodness, bro, that's crazy. The celebration doesn't even work in my career, it works in my NBA. Bam, Adebayo, and Hero combined for 60 points, 61 points. I held Butler to 18 on, I wouldn't say terrible, but pretty bad shooting. But no defense from a and no defense from Terry Rozier was it enough the Hornets once again this was a story of the entire Eastern Conference Finals three players getting 18 plus points and the rest under 10 you can't you can't win a series and those three players were these were the three players in the, this conference finals Cedric Lewis averaging 40 plus eight and getting 20 plus and Grant getting 15 to 18 that was the conference finals and then LaMelo Ball just stinking up the joint Terry Rozier is thinking of the joint. It was, it's a sad, sad way to end. I shot below 50%. I could not hit anything in that second half. 5 for 16, 1 for 6 in the fourth quarter. A lot of that contributed to how tired Cedric was. He played 36 minutes. Remember, these are only 10-minute quarters. So there are 40 minutes in these games. I only rested four of those minutes. And we fall short to the Miami Heat. And the Charlotte Hornets have been eliminated. Now we're going to quickly simulate the rest of this. And the Blazers nearly come back 3-1, but we have a Heat Mavericks rematch. And the Dallas Mavericks are going to beat the Heat in five games in the NBA Finals. Stay tuned for the offseason episode. That's going to be for me. GG.